What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Um, this is what I'm calling the Formula 88 project. So it's basically content I want to um, put out to you for those that are obviously interested in cars, the modifying piece of it. I'm going to cover a lot of the track setup and track prep. That's always been uh, my style of modifying. So I really enjoy um, that piece of it and never really tracked a car. So I actually went to NCM April 17th and 18th for my first legit track day. I've done lots of autocross and things like that, but uh, nothing really to do justice to what I built something like that for. So um, that's what I plan to do here. i uh, love to share with you guys and see, you know, what I can do um, to help. Obviously YouTube's a big influence uh, on us nowadays. And so just want to see where we could provide, you know, some sort of um, assistance or influence or however you want to call that. But um, so follow along with us. This will be the first of many um, like, comment and subscribe, of course. And we're going to go and show you what the car looks like. Science of speed stage two tile ball valve clear rod radiator titanium pieces because they're sexy uh, it's got a skunk to uh, header with a um, test pipe and a full three inch HKS single jingle some would call it exhaust um, race bread front splitter chassis mounted of course and professional awesome splitter rods which you can see are there hidden very strong, very stout setup. Very pleased with their quality and their craftsmanship. Of course, you gotta have a little Rockstar Garage action with their tow hook that is also mounted to the frame there. We got the after cooler setup, of course. And looking at the top here, which we almost forgot to mention. This is a forbidden USA carbon fiber top, which is just just unbeatable for the money. You really can't um, get something that's this good of quality that fits this good um, for for the type of money that they charge. It's kind of unbelievable. Interior is pretty simple. Um, still have, like I said, all my panels and everything. I did tint my glass because this is a street car too, so I do drive it sometimes. I'll walk around the other side here and show you the, of course, the favorite pieces. The Recaro. The this is a pole position ABE, um, and so what that is is the wide hip version of the pole position. So obviously, I'm a thick feller, corn fed, as some would say. So I like to eat, and I need a bigger seat. So. I do have a steering wheel setup that I've yet to install because I'm waiting on the Works Bell Hub. Um, should be here this week, hopefully. Have it in soon. And I plan on doing a DIY install of that as well. And then one of my favorite pieces is the titanium shift knob from Renegade. Renegade's another company that I absolutely love and I plan to support them. As you can see, got some goodies from them too. So, but that's kind of the car as to where it is now. And obviously I still plan on doing some things. Um, like I said, steering wheel, rear diffuser. Um, at some point I want to get crazy with weight. So I want to do a full titanium exhaust and um, some sort of vented hood. May or may not have ordered something like that already. And carbon fiber, of course, because why not? Um, oh, the wheels. I forgot about the wheels. They are Titan 7s, uh, and they are the, the R10s, TR10s. So they're uh, 17 by 9.5. They're plus 51 offset with a 255-40 tire. And, of course, the, the Falcon RT660s, which... I've heard great things about and I'm very excited to see how they do this season. So, and then the one last thing I didn't mention is the Rockstar Garage Spec Fio 441 Pluses, coilovers which are also awesome. 
feel very good for a street car, but also give me the performance that I need to put down fast lap times. Hopefully.